What's up, Blast Our Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, I just want to sit here and say something. To all the dumbass women that said I would choose a bear over a man, yeah. I think after this story, you dumbass bras is going to change y'all minds. So, um, let's take a look at this guy. Shout out to, shout out to Menosphere Daily. Yeah. Menosphere Highlights Daily. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get this. Alive, but badly wounded, he scrambled up a hill and managed to get a call through to his wife, Chloe, who's an EMT. I said, I got attacked by a grizzly bear. I'm not sure exactly the damage yet. So she goes right into EMT mode, telling me to improvise tourniquets. I hung up the phone not knowing if I had just spoken to my husband for the last time. This is one of those videos I never thought we would make. But the foolishness of these modern women is getting crazier by the day. Would you rather be stuck in a forest with a man or a bear? Uh, man is scary. Um, with a bear. Pro depends what man, but probably a bear. 100% oh, a bear, which is like terrifying to say, but... Definitely a bear. Some men are very scary out there. A bear. <laughs> I would say, I would say a man. One vote. Hold up. I just want to interject here. To all seven of those women and to the women that were saying they would choose the bear, um... Let's stick you out there in nature for about five days. No food, no water, no shelter, no clothes, no soap, no tampons, no um, no makeup, no nothing. Let's see how long you're going to last out there. And also, let's put you in a cage or put you in a 10-mile radius with a hungry grizzly bear. A mama and a papa grizzly bear with cubs. Let's see how long y'all asses are going to last out there in the wild in that 10 mile radius with those bears. Now, let's see. Because I bet you one thing, y'all dumb asses wouldn't do it. Y'all would be like, oh no, I, I choose a man. No, 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 no. Stick y'all asses on out there with that bear. And let's see how long y'all going to last for five days. Let's see how long y'all going to last. I bet you, you ain't gonna last 10 minutes. Out of seven for a man. Wow. So here we are, talking about how a man is no match for a freaking grizzly bear. Grizzle, grizzle. We men and we. Survived deployments in Iraq. He survived a brain tumor, the loss of family members, but it was a different danger that lurked in the Wyoming woods. One that weighs about 400 pounds, can run about 30 miles an hour, and has four inch long, razor sharp claws. I just wanted to start with this clip so you can have an idea of the fight matchup between the grizzly bear and the combat veteran. A grizzly bear is significantly larger than the average man and its strength is approximately three to six times greater. Now let's listen to what happened to the man. Chloe and Shane Patrick were hiking on a honeymoon in the Grand Tetons celebrating marriage and Shane's recovery from a brain tumor. So I was moving and I was just like, at this point, just watching my GPS. They split up because Shane was trying to find a particular owl, but an owl wasn't the animal he encountered. It was close enough for me to identify that it was definitely a cub. What does your body do when you register A, that there's a cub and immediately then you see a, an adult grizzly and it's charging you? I, I, I locked up and I just, it's the, the decision making and such a fearful moment. It's insane how fast it all happens. I don't know, I just went to pure instinct. He had bear spray, but not enough time to use it. I just was like, okay, this isn't, I'm not gonna be able to spray this animal. That's when I ducked and covered. She just bit down each leg and she picked me up and kind of thrashed me around. That's when she went towards my head, but I kept my hands interlocked like this and just trying to protect my, my arteries in my neck. She bit down and got my left wrist and my right hand. I heard a pop, and at that point, 
in my head, I was like, all right, she's, she's in my skull. But it wasn't his skull, it was the bear spray can. After a taste of that, Mama Bear ran off. Then the pepper kind of hit me and I was like, you're still alive. <laughs> so this man that women are so afraid of would rather be stuck in the woods with an animal that could literally eat him for breakfast if it were starving. But that's not the reason for the bear's attack on the man. Check this out. She was attacking me to kill me because I was perceived as a threat. This is not Yogi Bear. This man wasn't gonna reason with the bear and tell it he was looking for a rare owl. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. Um, Yogi and Boo Boo was not in the woods that day. They was over there fucking around with a picnic basket. Okay? They was over there. They was over there like this. Ooh, boo, I didn't know the picnic basket. Yeah, that was them. He encountered a real bear. A bear that, a grizzly bear. And damn near lost his life. But you don't hear, but here's the thing. You hear a lot of these dumbass women saying, Oh, the grizzly has seen me as a friendly and all this shit. Bitch, it's an animal. What the fuck are you talking about? This ain't your damn dog. This ain't your damn cat. This ain't your rabbit. Your damn, uh, this ain't your damn, uh, pet lizard. This ain't your pet snake. This is a damn big ass grizzly bear. Nature has not allowed the human to tame a bear. Let alone a fucking lion. The only, reason you, the only reason you see a lion in a fucking cage at a zoo is because they fucking took that man, that lion's nuts away. But in the wild, that is the king cat. There's a reason why grizzlies are, are known to be dangerous. Expecting the bear to understand and leave him alone. If it weren't for the bear spray, this man could have been deleted. A woman has a much better chance of surviving being stuck in the woods with a man than with a bear. Now let's listen to what his wife said. You know, no one ever starts their day thinking, I'm gonna get attacked by a bear today. <laughs> it happened to us. <laughs> and uh, just, I'm really grateful that my husband was prepared and had these wonderful instincts to yeah, and also, regular people don't say, I want to do, I want to uh, go, I would rather take a man, a bear over a fucking man. See, that's what normal people don't say. Uh, that's what normal people don't say. But the crazy people say, I would take a bear over a fucking man. Yeah, so, uh, take y'all dumbasses on out there to the woods for, t for five week five days. In a 10 mile radius with nothing. I'm not even talking about a comb to brush your hair or to comb your head. That's what I'm talking about. No damn, no nothing. No face scrub, no nothing. Be able to preserve his life and make it back to us. The law of cause and effect. When the world is generally safe, these women come out of the woodwork saying ridiculous things like they would rather be stuck in the woods with a bear than with a man. Just like his wife said, no one starts that day thinking, I'm going to be attacked by a bear today. But this society is promoting this idea that masculinity is toxic and useless. Because men are useless. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> love it. And by the way, I want to I wanna differentiate between straight men and gay men because I think I, I would die without gay men. You're Lady, you would die without men in general. Let's ask a fair question. Who built the world? Men. Who maintains this raggedy ass world that we live in today? Men. I don't see women dying at jobs like that. I don't see women falling for skyscrapers trying to put up a damn trying to put up fucking equipment. I don't see that shit. I don't see women in the construction sites actually building shit. I yeah, no. Mova said she had seen Pearson in his truck before in the parking lot of her old job and that he was quote creepy. All charges against Pearson have been dropped. You see how 
But oh, I do see women doing dumb shit like this. Calling the cops on men because they supposedly look creepy. And they ain't, the man ain't even said no damn thing to them. And they got arrested. I do see women doing that. Yeah. It was, quote, creepy. All charges against Pearson have been dropped. You see how easy it is for women to disrespect men without any backlash? That's why you have to ask this question about the bear to women who have been in this position. Check this out. Suddenly, a 200-pound bear was coming at her. That bear came charging at me and bit my, the side of my leg and then bit my side and then grabbed my head and started dragging me towards the woods. And I could just, those teeth were just digging into my skull. While being dragged towards the woods, Terry says she was praying. And I said, please, I can't leave my kids. My babies need me. And it was then that bear let go of my head. I knew in that second I, I had to get up somehow. Doctors used 30 yeah, yeah. staples to close the bite wounds on her head. It's interesting how women Jesus Murphy. She was literally mauled by a 200 pound bear. <sighs> men often overlook the men who keep the lights on, the men who keep them safe from threats, and the doctors who heal their wounds. Most men are not dangerous and will not attack you like a bear would. When push comes to shove, many, 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 many of these women would beg for a man to come save them. Oh, I want my dad! I want my dad! I want my dad! Please! Leave me alone! Please leave me alone! Hey, Susan! Hey, just sit down and go! No! Yes. Yes. no. Down. My dad is my best friend, I, don't I swear to anymore. God! I don't know. These are wild animals, and we need to respect them. They have no place to go. And if she was protecting her cub, I know, because I would do the same. Eventually, rangers get to him, and what's the first thing he tells them? I was just like, please don't kill the bear. She was just defending her cub. And, in fact, the rangers decided he was right. So everyone survived the day. The brain tumor, surgery. It went really well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I was good after that, but, you know, the universe decided to test me again, I guess. Now, can I get a drizzle, drizzle? Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Man, if you can get a drizzle drizzle and a stupid ass and a stupid ass too because um a lot of these chicks is dumb as hell for that shit anyways i'm glad the brother made it home safe back to his family and his wife um shout out to him and what he been through now to the dumb ass women that challenge remains standing if y'all feel the need to say that you want to take uh, the bear over the men Okay, let's try a social let's let, let's try an experiment, and I bet you a lot of y'all gonna chicken out like like y'all always fucking do, but y'all stay talking shit online. But then when the situation really comes, then you want a man to come protect you. It's called you need to shut the fuck up before you start talking shit. But anyways, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you guys on flip side. And thank you guys for listening. Bye guys.